It's time for Mini News, Mini News Sesh. Yeah! Hey, and welcome back to Mini News Sesh. This week we have Gavin. Gavin, thank you so much for filling in for me when I had all my, my health stuff in one week going on. You did amazing as usual. Of course, Darla. Yeah, definitely. And what do we have this week? We have a lot, actually, a lot of breaking, breaking news, breaking, breaking, breaking news. stuff. Yes. So uh, break, breaking news today here. Uh, so first is that Twitter was acquired by Elon Musk. I'm sure as many of you now know, yes. um, you know, it enters this new chapter where, um, you know, Musk, we don't really know what he plans to do with the platform, but it has, you know, Twitter in general has plays, played such an outsized role within kind of the political media landscape due to its following among journalists, um, you know, commentators, celebrities, people like that. So uh, it's just, it's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see kind of what happens moving forward. Uh, what we can say is exactly what Elon has said he plans to do uh, now that he has purchased Twitter. And that is, um, and I'm going to read the statement here too. He said, the reason I acquired Twitter is because it's important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy healthy manner without resorting to violence. So seemingly something there everyone should be able to get on board with. Uh, but, uh, you know, anyone who is looking to become a thought leader in kind of the social space should be looking at all avenues of the social media landscape. And as this kind of happens, uh, you know, regardless of your opinion of Elon Musk, what we do know about him is, right, what we do, what we do know about him is that he is the only person, the first person to have taken five different companies in five separate verticals and built billion dollar businesses from the ground up. And this would be his sixth if he, you know, not from the ground up, but this would be the, his sixth company that he's kind of taking over and he's taking a step into the social space here. So we know he's incredibly successful in a wide range of verticals and you can expect Twitter to kind of, I'd, I'd expect it to transform, especially since it really hasn't moved much in terms of its use case, its functionality since its kind of inception. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. One of the bigger things being that he's entertaining the idea of uh, reintroducing Vine. I saw that. I saw him tweet that. Bring Vine back. Yes or no? Of course I voted yes, because I like to I like to throw throw my, my wrench in the works too. And I'm a huge Elon Musk supporter. Um and I know he's seen a little bit of an exodus in some people because I have sure. a Tesla. I never bet against him. I have Tesla, I have Tesla you stock. So yeah. he's a visionary in ways in which I support. Mm -hmm. And I understand he he's a little off putting and polarizing sometimes, but I I, I like him. I personally yeah. like him. Yeah, I do too. I think he's uh I think he's just one of those um, you know, again, like regardless of even how you feel about him. It's just, it's impossible to debate some of the contributions he's made um, within society. I mean, everything from, you know, Tesla, SpaceX, all these huge companies. So uh, just if you think about that with respect to, you know, the social space and what might be coming, it's a big deal. Uh, but Vine too, Vine, you know, I want to uh, dig into that a little bit. Sure. Vine is the modern kind of equivalent of what we see within social media platforms today. Before Vine, there was just kind of Twitter, there was Instagram, and there was Facebook. And Instagram was mainly primarily photos, um, you know, YouTube – wasn't really, you know, it was more long form even back then. Vine was the only quick kind of funny entertainment driven site. And it really was the modern today in 2022. It was back then what social media is today. And so it was right. the first TikTok. It was the first, you know, platform that really introduced what we have today as our modern social media. And so bringing that back as a competitor to TikTok uh, would be, you know, incredibly successful, I believe. Not only that, but just... In times of uh, recessions or things like that, we have a lot of people predicting an economic recession coming. But in times of recessions, entertainment-based media and social media outlets always, always thrive. So it could be kind of this perfect storm to to bring back Vine as a competitor to TikTok. Um, so that would be really interesting. I love this idea. And I like the fact that um, Vine, you know, Elon Musk, is he's not, you know... A is he a United States citizen? I'm not even sure now. But I'm he has sure. America's best interest at sure. heart, I believe. And, you know, there's been a lot of controversy about TikTok being Chinese-owned and spyware and thing. all that. Yep. Right? Exactly. So um, I'm not I'm not against it at all. And I love that um, even if there is an economic recession coming, you still have to think about getting in front of people and positioning your brand. So reviving mm -hmm. Vine – it's exciting for me. That was the OG, right? In the short form it was. video content. It, there's right? a lot of yeah. nostalgia with Vine. There's a lot of people who would be just mm -hmm. so happy to leave TikTok or 
produce less on TikTok and shift mm-hmm. over to Vine, I think, especially with some of the other stuff you're saying with, you know, more of Chinese owned, um, mm-hmm. you know, social media aspects being, you know, Chinese state, actually, you've heard the reports about them kind of like using it to monitor US civilians, yeah. things like that. So all of that stuff uh, is a huge concern, whereas Vine might be something that would be an easy transition for people to make already a familiar brand there. So that's uh, that's super interesting. Obviously, what does that mean for us? What does that mean for interior designers? It's just, this is something to stay uh, abreast of. This is something that we need to think about as far as uh, how can you take stuff that you have TikTok on TikTok now and maybe prep that to get ready to transition it to kind of a Vine based platform. How can you make sure you have that stuff ready? And I, I think, you know, if I'm, if I'm somebody and you know, me personally, I'm doing this too. Before this happens, I'm having content kind of ready to already engage should that happen. You don't want to be the person who's sitting there kind of just starting to create content, just starting to kind of get things in order. Uh, If that were to have launched, I think it's really, it would be prudent to go ahead and start creating content with that in mind so that if that does kind of come to fruition, you can be a first mover. And we've already discussed the importance of that with respect to jumping on social media platforms first, being a first mover, the impact that can have on your following, um, just getting in there early is a huge, huge deal and can have serious advantages for everyone involved. So I would definitely uh, suggest doing that for for some of the interior design community as well. Is this something that you can take if you're already producing content for TikTok and you're already producing content for YouTube Shorts? Is that something that we can repurpose that content? Hundred percent. Do we know yet? Okay. I, I think I think regardless, it, you you definitely should be able to do that. And I think it's just a matter of kind of making sure you having having have excuse me an organized structure of uh, your video files and what you, all your content. You should have an organized structure uh, inside your you know computer inside your hard drive so that you can just immediately kind of like plug and play. Uh, uh, should that kind of come to fruition. So really excited to see what happens there. Our producer, Nicole Lyons, she's she's listening and she's she's monitoring our conversation. She's probably thinking to herself, oh no, another <laughs> another <laughs> platform to put our TikToks and our YouTube shorts on, but it, it might sure. become it, it might be coming, Nicole, right? So yeah. being a thought leader and being in front of your audience is, is super, super important. Even as an interior designer, you might think you're just going out and making things pretty, but being top of mind and present and and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Is it ubiquitous? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> is that, all right, cool. Is that is that it for this week, Gavin? Do you have anything else? Uh, we have one more thing, and that's just that, uh, you know, yesterday we did have a uh, an outage on Instagram, and it kind of scared – I know it scared us oh, personally. Yes. So uh, we had this huge – Instagram outage where everyone was losing a ton of followers. There were a lot of followers and reports of followers or people being suspended from their accounts, not able to access their accounts randomly for no reason, apparently. Uh, and within a couple hours, it seemingly you know reappeared. We started to get followers back uh, personally on our pages. Our clients got followers back. But as a you know a, a social media agency that really just you know prides ourselves on what we've done for our customers and the, the following we've helped them gain, just to see them tanked was quite scary. I was <laughs> yeah. a, a Halloween spook. <laughs> for sure. So that was interesting. But uh, everything seems to have uh, fixed itself. Instagram has gotten miraculously. On top of it. Yeah, yeah, fixed the bug, aka hey, hack. I don't know. <laughs> the bug, yeah. Yeah, the bug. <laughs> Whatever it was, they uh, they managed to fix it, luckily. So I think all the followers have come back. So I think they took the, the hacker and took him out into a back alley. I think that was the fix. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like that. It was so random and so weird that, that I know that they're doing, for the optics, they're doing um, damage control. We fixed it. It's just a whatever, but uh, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, so strange. How does that happen to that many people? I don't know. <laughs> it had a happy ending, right? A very scary yeah. Halloween prank Instagram. Please don't do that again to us. Gavin, thank you so much for joining us again this week. You're superb as usual. We'll see thank you Thank you time. so much, Darla. See you guys. Many new sash. Yeah. yeah. Is your interior design firm just so busy that you don't have any time to post on your own social media accounts? Are you at a loss with what to post? Do you have zero strategy? Well, then you need to give us a call at 786-206-4331 or wingnutsocial.com.